Greetings, dreamers and screamers. You know who you are. 40 years ago, social media ruled the planet. Now we're ruled by dream things. More addictive than oxygen. If you haven't made one, you've seen one. Dream data converted to light and sound to share with the world. All feeding the bank account of Mr. Colton Ferris. Before he mutated into what he is today, his AI inventions were a revolutionary benefit to society. 16 years ago, he created Think Text to translate brain waves into words on a screen. Writers, the speech impaired, even those in complete paralysis, all found new ways to communicate. 12 years ago, he created My Tone to translate brain waves into sound. And the world was filled with music that could never have been heard before. But words and sounds were not enough for Colton Ferris. Nothing could ever be enough. With the obscene wealth he raked in from Think Text, Mind Tone, and his space component system, Ferris invaded the last remaining frontier. Eight years ago, his company, Kareem Multinational, released the recap. Wearing this inexpensive cap allowed the user to translate brain waves into complete video files. The killer app emerged immediately. The recap gave human beings full access to the dreamscape. The last barrier to self-absorption had been breached. Dream vids crushed the entertainment world overnight. For the low price of a recap, a single dreamer could leap past anything imagined by a movie or TV studio. Kareem Multinational's profit-sharing platform made it the premier DreamVid distributor to the world. But even this, wasn't enough for Colton Ferris. Nothing, could ever be enough. Seven years ago, Ferris played his endgame when he introduced the brain-enhancing drug Lucidia. With it, dreamers could take complete control of their subconscious. The potential was demonstrated in Foreign Multinational's own proof of concept, The Fallen Heroes. Fully formed stories of valor and sacrifice, distributed freely to the world, which put even the most gifted dream artists to shame. According to Foreign, Fallen Heroes emerged as fully formed dream bids constructed by a user on Lucidia. To this day, that user has never been identified. But the results are known to everyone. Fallen Heroes demonstrated that creative minds no longer needed an actor, scriptwriter, producer, director, or funding. An artist no longer needed equipment or a studio. Just one problem, Lucidia itself. Normally, a drug would undergo years of testing for FDA approval. Not this time. Colton Ferris pulled every congressional puppet string at his command to bypass the process and bring it to market in record time. Congress had two choices, allow it to bloom as a black market commodity, or legalize and tax it for their own benefit. And we all learned that a government starved of revenue is the first to abandon its principles. The bar raised by fallen heroes has not yet been topped, but it has been touched. Dream Vids and Lucidia, in the right combination, brought monumental talent out of places no one ever thought to look before. Dreamers once doomed to generational poverty needed only one viral dream vid to change their lives forever. But the wrong combination could lead to ruin. Some were pulled under by their own subconscious, lacking any defense against self-addiction and mind lock. Of course, Colton Ferris takes no responsibility for them. A drug brought to market without review. A series that convinced everyone they had a blockbuster in their head. And now we are immersed in this stew. A real sunset, a real lover, a real world, can no longer compete with one dreamed with Lucidia and delivered through a recap. All for the sake of Colton Ferris and his unstoppable greed. But his wealth, still depends on, you. And we, are you.